So no one can claim that he loves Allah while going against the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Question, how many Muslims today deliberately go against the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Allahul Musta'an. Ya yeah, subhanallah, a bottle of water. Now, two Muslims can have a bottle of water. And two Muslims can drink. One of them will attain Allah's love when he drinks, and the other one will not. He may be cursed. I was at Al-Bayk with this brother yesterday, observing. From what I saw, 80% of the people drink with the left hand. Muslims, 80% of the Muslims. Wallah, it doesn't even cross his mind, ya Sheikh. It, and, and, and the worst is when you say, Akhi bil yameen, he looks at you like, mind your business, you know? I'm having my chicken here, and I want to enjoy it the way I want to enjoy it. He doesn't even have yani, the humbleness or the iman, which allows him to say, Jazakallahu khairan for the reminder. And he actually switches. Very few that I've come across in my life. Wallahi, very few, you would be shocked, who actually say, Jazakallahu khairan and change. Many people look at me like this. Like, in your face, I'm gonna drink with the left hand, what are you gonna do? Hey, what am I gonna say? Let's take it outside and go punch, you know, knock him out. See, this is not dawah anymore. You know? It's like, you know, Mike Tyson back in the days. You know, the, the journalist will ask him a question that is not right, bow, he will knock him out. Nothing, you know, you can't play with Mike Tyson back then. You say he became a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, may Allah guide him to the sunnah. But the idea is, well, you can't do this in da'wah, and you can't really fight with the people, you know, you know, pick a fight with them because he ignores you. You just say, La ilaha illallah, akhi, what, what happened to you? Yeah, shabab, this sunnah and drinking, sitting down, saying bismillah, drinking with two or three breaths, because the narration is mentioned two or three, and not breathing into the container, and taking a breath in between them, and not gulping a big gulp, and saying Alhamdulillah at the end will attain Allah's love. Ya yeah, Subhanallah, you're drinking water anyways because you're thirsty anyways and you will dehydrate if you don't drink anyways. But you can attain Allah's love while the other one is getting the shaitan to drink with him. He's resembling shaitan who drinks with his left hand. And if he were in the presence of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he told him like that other guy, like that other Sahabi, he told him, Kul uh, bi he told him, I can't. He told him, may you never be able to do so. And the Sahaba said, nothing prevented that man except arrogance. Yeah, and it even happened to the Messenger of Allah. He told the person, eat with the right hand. He said, I'm unable to do so. He's able. Can anyone not eat with his right hand? Wallah, liar. Which reminds me, some people play games with themselves. Oh, okay, look. They buy a Pepsi. Okay? Now, let me ask you a question. Which one of you takes the Pepsi home after he's done with it and he puts it in, in the, on the shelf? Anyone? Do you throw it away in the trash? You throw it away in the trash. Or some people, yani, mashallah, yani, uh, he doesn't like to get the things greasy. So because he's drinking, with, he's eating with his right hand, his hand is what? Greasy. So as an excuse now, he wants to drink the Pepsi with the left hand. If you tell him why, he says, because my hand is greasy. And grab the Pepsi with the greasy hand. When you finish it, throw it in the trash. Or they go like this. <laughs> oh, and now this finger, this magical finger, I guess, is supposed to convert the drinking from the left hand to drinking with the right hand. So they go like this, they go like this. What is this? Ya yeah, Habib Albi, you will throw it in the trash. Ya yeah, Sheikh, get it greasy, no problem. Put a mandil around it. But you have to drink with the right. So one sandwich in the left and right, so they say, you know, like this. No. If you're a Muslim, you will have to put one down, then eat the sandwich. Put it down, drink. Put it down like this. There's ajr for it. And you will bring about Allah's love with this very, very simple deed. And I'm mentioning little things. Listen, I'm mentioning voluntary things sometimes or some... Don't speak about the obligations, ya akhwan. If we go against the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the obligations, with the Sunnah, which we've spoken about in many, many lectures, then we're not only not attaining Allah's love, no, we are on a one-way path to Jahannam. 
you better believe. I'm not speaking about obligations. Obligations, you have to be upon the sunnah, period. We're talking about voluntary acts of worship. So as a Muslim, ya akhi, be mindful of Allah. Learn the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How he ate, how he drank, how he dealt with issues, how he treated his wives, how he treated his children, how he gave da'wah. Learn, apply. Every time you do so with this niyyah of yours, Allah will love you. If you don't, listen to the ayah. قُلْ أَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ فَإِن تَوَلَّوْ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْكَافِرِينَ In the very next ayah after the one I quoted right now, say, obey Allah and His Messenger, but if they turn away, then verily Allah does not love the disbelievers. Yani Allah is saying, if you don't want to listen to the sunnah, if you don't want the sunnah, if the sunnah is no good for you, then Allah does not love people who have a quality of disbelief or the disbelievers altogether. Because going against the sunnah is a quality of disbelief.